Say you're at the gym and you're new to the fitness world and you keep hearing talk of protein, BCAAs, creatine, pre-workout, and you're wondering what in the world is all of this stuff? Do I need to take it? Why do I need to take it? Should I take it? Why are they taking it? You're clueless. I was too. Had no idea about supplements, a little bit of protein, but that's it. I educated myself, learned all I could about it, and now I take a lot of the above. So I thought I would go to GNC today and meet up with my friends there that work there and see if they can explain to you what these are, why you should use them, why maybe you should not use them, and when you should use them. So I hope it helps clear up a little confusion. Okay, so we're here at GNC. We're gonna go in there and see what Cameron has to say about supplements. about protein. Which one should I use? There's different types. Should I use an isolate or should I use just a regular whey protein? Can you tell us the difference? All right, so two types of proteins that you find in the store is a whey, whey isolate, uh, then you've got your blended proteins. So uh, your isolate proteins are like ISO HD. So you get whey isolate, uh, no concentrate, um, it's ultra filtered, usually lower calorie, better for weight loss, better for post-workout. You can use it as pre-workout, you can use it as a protein supplement, um, tons of different things for this. Your blended proteins are usually going to be a little higher calorie. Uh, they've got anywhere from three to six blends in them, since the six is a six blend. Um, it's higher calorie, higher fat, a little less protein, but you've got slow and fast digesting proteins in it. So it's something more you'd want to use for a meal replacement. Okay. For optimal weight loss, you would want to go with an isolate. Okay, right. For sure, something like this, you can replace a meal with it, but you know, you're, if you're trying to lose weight, you want less calories, less carbs, definitely go with an isolate. Okay. Um, this is good if you're you know, trying to put on size. Sorry. These are good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you just spit it right out. I think the Steve is, a, I think he's well, maybe like that. Uh, okay, so let's talk pre-workout. Now, right. I don't take pre-workout, um, I can't take stimulants other than caffeine. And in pre-workout, there's a lot of other stimulants other than caffeine. That's why when you see some people on pre-workout, they're like jacked up. They're like ready to go, tearing stuff up. So tell us all about this, like pre-workout, what, what about it? Okay, so pre-workout, basically the idea behind it is you take it pre-workout and it gives you energy, boosts your endurance, uh, you know, helps out with lactic acid levels. I mean, does a little bit of everything so you get a better workout. Um, you know, a lot of times once you try one, you don't want to quit. Right. I mean, you'll just keep going. You'll never want to not take a pre-workout again. Always a good idea to cycle off of them though, give your adrenal glands a break. Most of them have caffeine. And the more you take it, the more caffeine you're gonna want. Right. You're gonna start double scooping and crazy things like that, so. You do have to be careful though, if they're, what, if you have blood pressure issues, heart conditions, because I mean, there is other ingredients other than just caffeine in pre-workout. Definitely. I know how it makes me feel, okay? When I take pre-workout, I get all tingly, I get all like flush, and I feel good for a little bit, but then at the end, I'm like not feeling good. That's just me, that's how I react to it. How do you react to it? What does it do for you, personally? Me, when I take pre-workout, uh, I take it probably about 30 minutes before when I'm driving to the gym. I'm shaking in the car, you know, I'm shifting gears while I'm trying to shake with the other hand, just doing crazy things, and then I just down it. So by the time I get into the gym, you know, I can feel the beta on my skin's crawling, you know, I just want to go in, I just want to lift everything. But you like it, it works good for yes. you. Yes. And it works good for a lot of people. But some people, if you're sensitive to stimulant, maybe the actual pre-workout is not your way to go, maybe just something with caffeine in it. Um, especially if you have a heart condition, if you have blood pressure issues. And also, I don't know about you, but I always recommend people just take a half scoop. See what that does for you, and then if you're okay with that, go ahead and take a scoop. That's just what I recommend. Yeah, Because yeah. I'm a cautious about it. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're just trying it out, don't go with the most extreme. Right, so basically, if you're interested in a pre-workout and you think it might be for you, what I suggest is to ask a professional, 
someone at GNC or a supplement store that knows about supplements because there's so many different pre-workouts out there. There's some that are crazy like off the chain. Like I see people on them and I'm like, are you okay? Are you gonna, like, I think they're crazy. <laughs> like they're taking their pulse like every 10 seconds. Like, are you gonna explode? What's what? And people dry yeah. scooping it. Do you dry scoop? I don't know. It, it, it seems to get it in your system a little faster. If you don't have any water oh, with you. Yeah. Like it That's for hardcore. Water. You're hardcore. Yeah. So if you're interested in pre-workout, go to a supplement store, ask them about it to be sure you get the right one. Change my shirt because it's 14 degrees in here. Are you trying to make music with the creatine? I am. Nice. <laughs> it's called creatine. This is one that actually confused me greatly when I was learning about supplements. I don't know why. Why you take it? Who takes it? Can women take it? So tell us a little bit about it. All right. So creatine essentially is already naturally occurring in your body, um, and you get it through diet. Things you eat, such like, as like red meat, red right? Meat, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, so it's good for producing ATP, natural energy, what fuels your body. So the idea by supplementing your body with it is you produce more of that, which helps out giving your muscles more energy. Uh, ATP fuels muscle contractions, so that's why you need it. The more you have, it's going to help with athletic performance. Uh, it's a pH buffer, has all kinds of positive effects. Okay, um, because a lot of women and I too thought that it was just for men that women should not take creatine that it was only a man thing you know, women want to stay away from it especially if they're wanting to lose weight or they're not wanting to put on size or anything like that because you know this you'll retain a little more water with you'll put on some more weight you know it's kind of not really encouraging if you go step on the scale and you right. Know, you're up. right right all right so who do you recommend should take creatine who uh well anyone who wants to take it can uh really the only time you would want to take it is if you got liver or kidney issues. Um, now, if you're wanting to lose weight but still get the benefits of creatine, find something like uh, BPI Best Creatine. Uh, it's a blended creatine. You've got better and more absorbable forms, forms than just your monohydrate. Okay, um, like right now, I'm trying to put on some um, more muscle. So times like that, a few times a year, I will go through a few months of using creatine. I, of course, use BPI. They do have one, BPI Defined, that does not bloat you. I like to take that. I feel like it makes a huge difference. But mind you, I'm not trying to lean out. So when I try to lean out, I kind of come off of it. Would you say it tastes so good? It's amazing. It does taste amazing. Yeah, it's icy blue grass. Icy blue grass. So if you are going to take creatine, that might be the one to take. Snow cone's good, too. Just a little. And last but not least, Anytime you walk into a gym, you're going to hear BCAAs. What are they and why do we need them? Right, so BCAAs are branched chain amino acids, uh, leucine, isoleucine, valine. So those are your important ones. Uh, so what your aminos do, they help with recovery, help aid in protein synthesis. Uh, a lot of them will have hydration formulas in there with them. So they keep away muscle cramps, they keep you more hydrated while you work out. It's an intra-workout. You can take them before, you can take them after. Best to take them during, especially if you're taking a pre-workout before and a protein after. Right. Um, take these during, It'll help you work out a little longer, keep you more hydrated, uh, help you heal a little longer. All of these supplements that we've talked about today, all of them are good and all of them are fine. Um, but your basics, in my opinion, he's the expert, but in my opinion is protein and BCAAs. Those are two, if you're thinking of starting any kind of supplements, protein, BCAAs, that's just my opinion. Definitely. I hope um, this video helped you try to sort through what's what. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you. For helping us. Okay. That's mine. I gotta have that. I gotta have that right there. See that? You had a Wonder Woman cup? Yeah, we got all kinds of Wonder Woman cups. I we need got that this one. one. We got a limited edition one in the back that's not out yet. Shh, that's mine. This is also a love of mine. Okay. That is good stuff right there. The sprinkles get me every time. Now you show up. You know. Video's over. And you show up. Did my job then. I guess. <laughs> I hope that video helped you understand supplements a little bit more. 
They can sometimes be hard to understand and confusing to know if you should use them, if you should not use them. Um, so if you have any other questions or any comments, leave them below. And as always, you know, you can find me on any social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, even though I don't tweet much. And of course, here. Yeah.